The moon is the second brightest object in our sky, day or night. We observe it change phases, move against the sky from day to day, we even cause eclipses. The moon is the only solar system body orbiting the Earth. It orbits us at a rate of once a month, which is where the word month originates from. As it orbits us, its sunlit face is viewed from different angles causing the progression of the phases from new moon through waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter, waning crescent, and then start the cycle over again from new moon. To simulate the view from the ground, I will now use the simulation from the virtual planetarium software Stellarium. I will use the easily accessible web-based form, but you are welcome to install the full, still free version as well with more features. To be able to view the moon in this simulation, first make sure to set your location. and then click drag to view towards the south if you are at a northern latitude. Use the time options in the lower right hand corner to advance time until you see the moon in the sky. Note, this may be during daylight. You can use the plus and minus buttons for minutes, or hours at a time to simulate how the sky with the moon with it seems to revolve around us because the earth is rotating. If you go to the day advancement buttons, Notice that the phase of the moon progressed and the time that it sets each time is about an hour later.
in Stellarium, you can follow the phase and location of the moon by clicking on it, selecting center, and you can zoom in for a closer look. against the background stars as you advance time. Note that due to the particular nature of the software giving you the view from the ground, there will be some glitches that make it appear as if the moon seems to be rotating back and forth. When in doubt, just unselect the moon and advance time as you would also see the ground. If you select azimuthal grid, You can follow how much the moon appears to move in the sky as viewed from your location and see how long the time from your location does it take for a moonset. If you select Equatorial Grid, you can follow the motion of the Moon relative to background stars. You can measure how long of a time it takes for the moon to drift by its own diameter or how much it moves 
relative to those background stars each day. Please experiment with viewing the moon through many cycles until you get an understanding of where it appears in our sky relative to our sun what phase it is in and when it rises and sets.